True edge versus false edge, pretty simple, right? Front versus back. Well, not quite, it's more complicated. On this sword, the true edge is the front side and the false edge is the back side. On this blade specifically, the back edge is dull until we get to this last third, which is actually sharpened. And on most swords like Messers or Sabres, that's the case. But we have other swords like the Katana where it's only sharp on one side and the back is completely dull. Then we get to swords like the long sword, where there is no defined true and false edge on the blade itself. But once I grab it, now mechanically there's a true and false edge because this is the true edge and this is the false edge, this is the strong and this is the weak. And then we get to swords like the rapier where things are even more complicated because both sides of the rapier are sharpened all the way from top to bottom, but the guard itself forces us to grip the sword this way every single time. So this is always the true edge and this is always the false edge regardless of which side is sharp. 